edit, you don't need to go back to say so that you can actually edit from invoice page. Yeah. Yes, you can edit from your invoice page. Uh, the, the VAT component is not showing here. Yes, the VAT component, of course, invoice will carry VAT, sure. The VAT component is also here. And um, is it showing? That, yes, it's showing. Now, another thing you need to check okay. is the date. The okay. date was on the 7th or 8th. Eight. That's eight. Okay, well, on the eight. All right. So um, that is that. So at this point, we will save and close. Also, if you want to print, you can print. You can email the invoice and all that. The, the invoice number also automatically is provided. Now you can see that. If you click on Holland, the transaction summary is there. There's a sales order and there's an account receivable. Remember, at this point, the invoice, we have a debt or we have a debtor. Um, the invoice converts the customer to a debtor until that invoice is being paid. Now, Mr. Ike. Mr. Ike, are you there? Okay. The thing comes off. I wasn't hearing you. Well. Okay. You will let us, you give us the next, uh, what happened the next day? I didn't copy it down, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, the next day, I think uh, Mr. Kule help us. That's number three, right? Yes. March, March 10, the customer returned one HP laptop for round damage. Okay. So now that's the, the word, credit yeah, memo. Credit, credit memo. memo. Now the documents memo. used, yes, the first one used for returning items or receiving items that have been returned is a credit memo. There is need to use your credit memo so that your item, your inventory can um, take in back what was returned and the balance or a note will be issued to that customer. So for your credit note, you go to customers and you go to credit memo or refunds. You click on it, the page opens. Hollandia, Holland rather, is uh, on the name. Please, what's the date? 10th. 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 Okay. March 10th. All right. Now, we have this uh, as an option. If you look at the top of your window, you're going to see two options. Or oh, that's before we go there. Now we need to select the item that was returned and uh, and actually um, do the transaction. The item report, I believe, was a HP, right? Yes. All right. We return one HP at the rate of 180,000 and the tax was also um, done. Immediately- was The item question, is it a pavilion HP? Yes, it's a pavilion HP. HP pavilion. Where did you, where did you get the drop down please? Just at item oh, here. Okay, on the item. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see. So the next thing is you have two options. Use Sorry, was it was it said in the in the I didn't see help, uh, when you were writing it down. I didn't come across. I can't record uh, HP pavilion there. Okay, there is. Look at it here. No, the item returned. Those who are noting it down, I didn't see HP pavilion. Uh, 
one HP was returned. So one HP. Uh, uh, it's not HP. It's not HP pavilion. <laughs> no, it's a follow up to the <laughs> question. Please put pavilion in the HP. Because what we what we sold was pavilion. Let me even add it here. Okay, so we are going to. Uh, you are adjusting the entry now. Let's keep it at HP. No, no, no. What we sold was HP pavilion. Do you understand? Okay. The initial sale was HP Pavilion, so we have to return HP Pavilion. It's just that the description did not uh, carry that. Now we have two options use credit to give a refund or use credit to apply to invoice. Give a refund means you refund, but since um, payment has not been made, since we have not received any money, we are going to use this to affect the invoice so that. Uh, whatever is due to us will reduce by this amount. The 1.6 million that is due will be reduced by about 189,000 naira. So we are going to use that option. Use credit to apply to invoice. Maybe you click that option, use credit to apply to invoice. It will bring out the apply to invoice window. And it has already ticked that. So what it will do is that it will go right to the invoice and reduce this amount by 189,000 naira. And once we're done, we click on done. And we say save and close. See now, if you look at the transaction history, you will see minus 189,000. And the balance here is one forty four one million four hundred and forty nine thousand now. Uh, yes. Can you repeat this credit memo again? Okay. Please. Okay, like I said. For the credit memo, you go to customers and you click on credit memo. Select the, the customer that is making the return. Select the date. The date was on the text. Okay. Uh, select the date. Then select the item that was returned. Okay. Here it was HP Pavilion. Then you can make sure the quantity that was returned is reflected. The system will automatically apply the rates. Then you have two options at the top of your menu bar. The first option is use credits to give a refund. You can only give a refund when you have received money. For now, we have not received money, so we are not giving a refund. The next, the next option says use credits to apply to invoice. What it means is that this refund that this guy has made, we should take this money and apply it to the invoice that is already open. Okay. The, yes, the invoice that was open was about 1.6 million. So instead of, if we, this return will reduce that balance because it's a- So if, if, if the option had been, we should use it to use credit to keep refund. Yes, that been, that the would cash. Have been, uh, yes, I've affected the cash. But this is now, so immediately you select that option, it will pop out a window just for you to confirm. When you say okay, okay. yes. When you use that, when you say okay, uh, everything is done. You say you, you save and you close. Okay, so that is that. So you have the history and the balance on the head of this customer. Can you run the report? The report for this sale. Yeah. That's a come run the report on them. You as a report. Is this is this is more like the summary of what we are seeing already. Okay. I just want to know how it will come out. Yeah, it will come out. You can export this to Excel, it will just come out.
All right. So the next we will do is the last question. Uh, Mr. Mr. Yusuf, you help us with the last question. Okay, the last question is uh, you received payment from okay. item two. Item two. Okay, so we receive payment. This kind of money will come to the bank. So we go to customers and we go to receive payment. Customers receive payment. When you click the receipt. Our facilitator, is it record to this train anymore? It's on record, sir. Although I started quite late, it's on record. Okay. So you click on uh, receive payment. You select the, the customer that you're receiving from. We are receiving the whole amount. So we will type in the amount we are receiving here, or we can come here and tick. If you are receiving parts, please, you just come here and put the parts you are receiving. You are receiving food. So immediately you type the, immediately you type the amount you are receiving, it will apply it and tick, and then actually select that input. Or if you are receiving, Okay. Uh, yes. What if what if what, what if, if, if the withholding tax was taken from the money? Withholding tax. Yes. And uh, you do all those things in the invoice now. This uh, is not a service now. This is a sale. So why would you withhold? Yeah, this sales. You are not. You are not deducting withholding you tax. You can't withhold from tax now. You can't withhold from can't the invoice. Withhold. Oh. We will turn tax for a vendor. That's at the point of payment. So that's what we're saying now. You can't withhold tax on this uh, on sales. We withhold for this is this is more or less you, you well, this is a item you sold. So you no, can't withhold I, tax. It's a customer. That that what I know what he's trying to say. If the customer is the one that withheld tax and it's not paying full amount. If the customer with withheld, he can with was it a, a customer cannot withhold for items now. It's for a service. How? A customer item. can withhold for this transaction. Where he's paying you, he has the right to withhold. No, but this this is this transaction does not qualify now. Why what makes it for request? You said? If I, if I just not hear one transaction, I don't qualify. Yes, no, no, don't qualify you, don't, you, you don't withhold on every transaction. You withhold, for, only... you withhold for basically a service. It's basically for services. And this service, this is not even a service. This is- no, I... even for goods. Even for goods, you withhold on goods. Okay, why are you withholding? Why are you withholding for these items? Ah, the reason it's why you have it's not an essential, it's not essential service, it's yeah, essential ah. good exempted from tax, withholding tax. See, why 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 you need to be told is that first of all, the seller, you know, cannot cannot deny the fact that part of its revenue is in this service, it's in this uh, good that is sold. Yes. So in a situation whereby you are unable to separate the cost from the revenue, you will hold mm. on the total value. So, so if you are able to, to separate the cost from the revenue, that's when you now charge the building on the revenue. Mm. Do you understand? Now we have just stated here that we have a cost price, we have a selling price. All these things are not known to the buyer. Mm. <laughs> so that is why they might be told on this, this uh, transaction. FRS will come with their own uh, reason and tell you you are supposed to have protect. Well, well, um, you know, one thing with withholding tax is it has the interpretations from every angle is just something else. You know, but mm. but let's uh, okay. yes, let's just yes, let's conclude. When it comes to probably on our part.
when we get to tax class. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, it's not about tax class. You everything is holistic. <laughs> no, but 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 you know, it's, this thing will raise arguments actually. Because even when FRS will come, you can argue. There is no, they don't have a, a final authority on what you should be told and what you should not be told. It's based on circumstances. And if you can prove your case that uh, um, this is not according to the agreement and according to the activity, this is not subject. Which can... agreement, sir? There is a law. <laughs> There's an act. The law has exceptions now. The law has exceptions. People take, take, take. take. And sexual goods and medical services, uh, medical goods. Those ones are even yeah. facts. We told Those ones are facts. Those ones are yeah. facts. That's what I'm trying to say. Even for returning tax, you don't return on medical, uh, medical services and goods. So yeah, you know, this, this withholding tax has a lot of uh, exemptions. Do you know, um, uh, when FR, there was once FRS came and we were actually arguing this, this, this um, item, this particular issue. It was a manufacturing company and uh, actually they were manufacturing bottled water. And uh -huh. the, yeah, the item used for product for producing that for producing the bottled water, we were arguing it because it, because if you look at the act very well, once that that cost is part of the overall, it, once it's the system they used, I cannot place now, you know so. Apart from services and the list that they gave, consulting, um, uh, other kinds of services, royalties, and the rest of them, it's uh, if you can prove that's what I'm saying because we that day we actually went to get we went to get uh, their law and actually discussed and proved that it's not everything that you just because it's, it qualifies you just say charge no. You need to look at some circumstances that actually, if you look at it very well, it may apply. So, so, sorry to deviate. The principle <laughs> of withholding tax mm. Uh, mm. is that you are withholding in anticipation that when this person pays his revenue, it will reduce his tax liability. So of it's more or less like a tax advance. Of course, now to who now? To whose uh, benefit now? It's not to the person that is uh, paying it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the, the only thing is that, and when you have your credit note, you use it and reduce your tax liability. Uh -huh. uh, but the, the seller might argue that that thing you're withholding, you're not supposed to withhold it. That's the point we are coming from. Because to the seller, you're reducing his revenue. So to you that is withholding, it's, uh, it's you're obeying a law, but you're seeing it as an advanced tax. Well, but like you said, it's uh, all subject to when we get, but let's just, as uh, so to, uh, you have a point, yeah, this can be subject to withholding tax. On the other hand, um, um, even in practice, when we, there's one we say over the counter, have you had something like that? Over the counter? Yes, there are some sales that you, there are some purchases you buy, probably they don't have invoice or there's just some circumstances. They say it's over the counter and those kind of that's sales. Not for, for, that, that's not for regular supplier. Uh -huh, something, something like that. Go to, uh, just go just to an open market. And buy something. Uh -huh, and just buy something. You know? So these are technical, but the law says everything. So these are some technical. It's over the counter recognizing the law. That's what I'm telling you, but yes, it applies in practice. You won't deny that even when they come, you argue it because there is no proof, there is no evidence, or there is no. Yeah, it's all we told about the counter payment anyway. Yeah, that's the thing. So that's why I say in every law there are a few exceptions that would apply. But all the same, uh, let's just continue. In this case, that we we forgot to withhold. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be penalized though. <laughs> we'll pay. <laughs> Maybe in the next invoice we'll double we'll charge the the client more. Uh, okay. See, uh, the, the truth is this. Yes. The challenge of more withholding is not your problem. Mm. It's the customer that was paying you that didn't withhold. Of course. So of he could do the 
course. Of course. Of course. Okay, so um, thank you very much. Uh, the payment method for this was uh, was um, through the bank. Let's say uh, a transfer. E check. E check. Okay, I'll check. E check is there now? Uh, yes. Okay, let's use check. We can provide the check number. Then the money was deposited into our UBA or raised in favor of our UBA. So at this point, you click on save and close. So you can see that following this transaction, Holland's balance is zero. And you can see the history of this transaction with Holland. So basically, this is just the flow of transaction and the necessary documents you use during sale. When we look at purchases related transactions, and uh, if possible, look at the general journals, and then look at our next class. So for purchases also, we are going to write out some things. Is it, is it possible we will look at our income statement for this for this standard? Yeah, we, we can. It's not uh well you see this this transact this company is not uh, uh Mr. Ike. Yes, please. Yes, you know this company we're using now is not our shell because I think that password we we put last time we could not remember the the composition, so we could not have access okay. to that one. Uh, so okay, this is actually okay. some another other, one. Uh, this is another one. But let's see the income. Let's see the report and how it fell. If you go to reports and you go to company financial and you go to standard, there are so many options. But let's look at standard. You will see. You can filter. This is the whole of March. From 1st to 29th of March. Since that money came in on the, I think on the 10th, let's see to 15th. So we have cost of goods sold 1.2 million in sales and a profit of about 180,000. So all that is well articulated. So let's look at vendor related transactions. And then Oh, we're looking at the purchase orders. Enter bill. I receive item. No credit name. So look at uh, pay bills. Like the other one, we're going to have an example. I'll just explain to you what these items are. Then we'll go with an example. Yeah, 
the purchase orders. When the purchase orders are used, use the PO. When you place order, or when the seller places an order to the vendor or supplier, the supplier. Because the other will carry the quantity and the item he wants to buy. The interview. Interview is used for two purposes. Number one, A, is for use to accept the view. B use credit purchases. And the vendor credit number. Use for use when the seller returns items back to the supplier. What we call the return in outward. You have the P field used to make payments supplying in part or food or open bills. OK. 
Okay, we are going to, like I said, this uh, our document use. These are documents used during purchases. Uh, no, I did not. Okay. These are documents we use during the interaction with your suppliers. Are you done with writing? Are you done writing? Yes, I'm done. Okay. It's three, it's three questions. Three examples, right? Yes, three or four. Okay. And can I do this? Okay, so we are going to start. From the question also, you can see that we have a new vendor called Chivik Computers. And uh, from our vendor list here, we don't have the uh, Chivik Computers, so we need to create Chivik Computers. So to do that, you go to your vendor, go to your vendor center, then you go to new vendors. And you type to be computers. Okay, so you have TV computers as a vendor or a supplier in the system. So we're going to um, go straight to entering the transaction. Yeah, Kunle, please read the first uh, this thing for me. March 4. Okay. He plays. We placed an order to Chivik Computers okay. for the supply of eight HP laptops okay. and five Dell laptops. All right. So we are going to go to as a purchase order. Yes. For your PO, please go to vendors and click on create purchase orders. So I'll do that. TV Computers is already selected. The date is on the fourth, right? Yes. Okay. I'm selecting the date. You come to items. Select 
HP Pavilion. HP is eight at one fifty thousand. Dell is five at two hundred thousand. So we have two million two hundred thousand. Okay, so after this, remember you call the vendor name, the date, the items. The PO number will be automatically given to you. Once you confirm, you save and close. So like your Like your this is balance detail or transaction. Like your this sales we did, the record for the transaction for this man will keep the start um, coming out. So you serve the next one. On the seventh of uh, of March, our order was accepted. And we receive an invoice from supplier. Okay. Our order, our order was accepted and we received. Um, so there are two options here receive item and enter bill. There's enter bill, there's receive item and enter bill, and there's enter bill for item received. So, of course, the the bill came with the item. So <coughs> we're going to be using enter bill for item received. Whichever option you select is fine. So you enter bill for. Oh, 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 sorry. Let's see this. Receive item and enter bill rather. Okay. Please can we go back? Please can we go back? Uh, let me see. Is it enter bill or receive and enter? Now there are different. All the let me let me start. Just depends on the occasion. Now sometimes you might receive the item first, then receive the invoice later. Sometimes you might only receive item and. Um, you can you might not have received invoice from your vendor. Sometimes you would enter bill for items that have already been received, or sometimes you can just enter the bill. Um, um, yes, but be that as it may, all of the situation. Yes, it depends on the situation. But let me cancel. So let's use. Let's use um, receive items and enter view. Probably we have confirmed the item, then we are actually accepting the view. I'm seeing. So, uh, is this what we're doing? We're doing to so immediately you select, immediately you click the receive item and enter view. And you select if at any page you just click, it will tell you open purchase order exists for this vendor. Do you want to receive against one or more of these orders? Of course, uh, we want that order to reflect on our bills. So we say yes. So remember the PO number for that bill was one. So this is the bill. We tick on it. To confirm that you, they, they, sometimes there might be many bills. There are many POs. You need to know the exact one you want to receive against the bill. And you say, okay. Maybe you do that. Maybe you do that. The, the PO you, you, you created will reflect on your bill. Then, please, what was the date? Seventh, I guess. All right. Then it will give you, there is a space for reference number. 
case you want to reference the PO, you can say reference PO number one. You know, then you have the item, the quantity. If the quantity you, re you received changed, please change the quantity here before you save and close. The account payable account, yeah, let me check. Okay, let me use this one instead. Account payable. Remember, the, the enter bill converts the vendor to like, convert the, the vendor to a liability or to a payable. Just like the invoice converts the seller to convert the transaction to receivable. So at this point, we will save. Once we confirm everything, we will save and close. It's just the same as your invoice. The transactions all look alike. Then the next is uh, Mr. Kunle. The next one. From March. Uh... Okay, that's the table. On March 12th, okay. we paid 50% of our month due to the supply. There was no return. Sure what I asked you now. <laughs> okay, there was no return. <laughs> please, let's return yes, one. Yes, Mr. Ask you that answer. Okay, okay. Please, just in your note, adjust. Let's return one. Okay. Let's do a return. Uh, just add it to your note. On the 10th, on the 9th. Okay. Would that be number three or yes or? on the ninth? Would that be number three now? Yes. On the ninth, we return one HP laptop. Oh, because of what? For screen damage. Ah, how can you be selling a HP that has a screen damage? Uh, maybe maybe <laughs> at, the, at the point of delivery now, you know. The thing had issues, so when we saw it, we had to return it back. Okay, we don't have any one, one eight speed after. So, for please take note for your returns in your vendors, you won't see just like a customer as you saw credit memo in your vendors, you won't see anything like that. So, the procedure for returning for your um, returns outward, you go to vendors and you go to enter bill. You just take note. Okay. Yes, you go to vendors and you go to enter bill. Then you will see, just at where my mouse is, you will see two uh, boxes one bill, the other one credit. For returns, please select credit. Please select credit. Then when you select credit, please select the date. The date for return was 9th. You can put a reference number, you can reference the invoice. Reference the purchase invoice. Now you go to item, select the item that was returned. Confirm the quantity that was returned and confirm the amount. So that is how to do a return to your vendors. If you have any question, what about customer job? The job here, no, 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 not applicable. Not applicable. All right, at this point, you save and you close. It's ask a question is it billable? No, it's not billable. No, that billable, that thing has relationship to do with your job. But this is not, this is a, this is a purchase we are making. It doesn't have anything to do with that. So at that, you save and close. That return will appear 
um, in the, the summary of the transaction. Then the next is we made payment. On the eleventh, we made payments. So for your payment, yes, twelfth. Okay, for your payment, you go to vendors and you say pay bills. You go to your vendors and you say pay bills. So you click pay bills. Really, you take pay bills. It will show you the bills that are open. Please change this to account payable to show you the bills that are open. Now, the one we want to pay is Chivik. And what we are paying is half. Remember, 50%, right? Yes. <coughs> so what we are paying is 1 million, 100,000. So just click on this payment amount to pay column, click inside, and put 1 million, 100,000. One million hundred thousand. I can't see your cursor. This is the cursor here. It's not moving. Yeah. But you can see the table, right? Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, you see amount to pay. Try and shift. Try and shift is the video. Okay. Drag the video up. Is the video covering the cursor? I have the same issue. Drag the video, drag his video to, to the top. I've removed oh, it. Okay, be able to see the, the cost of under amount to pay, the last column. Okay. okay. All right. Now, remember, if you see eh, that that return we did, is not reflective here yet. All right, it's not. But if you look down, you will see it as number of credits available. Total credits available. The credit has not been applied to the invoice yet. If you don't apply it, that means the invoice, the purchase invoice will not be reduced. Because we are not actually owing this guy 220. We are owing him less that return we made. So to apply your refund or your, your credit to your vendor, you will see the option here that says set credits. So when you click on set credits, it will let you know the available credit that is due. Because this guy, we need that return to reduce our invoice or our debt due to this vendor. So what we'll do, we'll say done, yes. Now you will see that the value of what we're owing changed. Instead of 200 and 2 million, 200,000, what we're owing now is 2 million and 50,000. So what we are going to pay is, um, one million and twenty-five thousand naira. One million. Hello. I'm not seeing it. You're not seeing it. Yeah. Can you see it now? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so the credit used here. Where did you pick the discount from, please? This is where you see it. Discount. Uh, no, the credit, not the discount, the credit. Okay. Uh, that refund, right yes. You will see set credits just here. You set see, credits. Yes. You see the 150 that we refunded, that we returned. The value of our refund was 150. So when you say done, it will reflect that 150. 
So instead of instead of paying back one million, instead of paying one million one hundred thousand, because of that reform, what the half payment is one million and fifty thousand. But in the in the amount due, in the amount due under the big computer, real, yeah. yes, between two point. Ref, this you say the amount due. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. You said see that the thing has not refreshed to this extent. Uh, no, to this extent it has not reflected. It was after we reduced the credit that's when it reflected. That's why you need to. You can choose not to apply the credit now. Maybe you can apply it later. Um, just the option. But, but if you that down, I'm seeing two two point eight million. Two point eight. Okay, here. Yeah. Yes. This is ending balance for the bank. Okay. Uh, this is ending balance for the bank. That means the bank has some money. It's just trying to. Yeah. You know, he's trying to let us know how much we have so that we we'll know whether we can pay this one point something million. Okay, okay. Uh, so you select the where you're paying from, then you say pay selected bill. Now you pay selected bill, it's going to give you a summary. You can print out this check or you click done. When you click done, you see that this guy's balance, Chivik's balance that is due, is a hundred is one million and twenty-five thousand naira. So that is actually the flow. That is the flow of transaction when it comes to credit related transactions. Now it's good to understand this document because. Sometimes it might not come in this instance. Sometimes you might have only PO. Sometimes you might have only enter bill. Sometimes you might have only uh, pay bill. So these are just the most important thing is to know these documents and you know when to use them. Okay, rounding up now, we will look at uh, the general journals. We'll look at the general or no let's look at from the course outline uh right checks right checks let's look at right checks now the right checks is used majorly to make payments for expenses So it's a payment for business expenses. So I'll give us an example. Example, I'll just give two examples, three examples. And I'll give you a class work you do for me. Example, um, match, touch, paid rent to landlord by check. Four hundred thousand. Match 
The name of the landlord is not reaching. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, so let's uh, let's look at how we. I'll need you to record it so that when we go there, you will be giving me the information. You'll be giving me the information. Okay, so for business expenses. Like I said, we're using the right checks. You can find your right checks at the banking column. So you go to a banking and you will see right checks. Okay, now the first transaction was a check we made to the landlord, Mr. Okoye and Sons, for 400000 But if you realize, we don't have, the first thing you do is to select the means by which you made that payment. And that was through our bank. Let me even create uh, a cash account. We don't no, have you should be here now. Huh? You should be here now. I know, but some we use by cash now. Uh, there's oh, that have uh, impress. Uh, let me just create so a, to have impress. Okay. a cash uh, account. Uh, oh, we did, uh, we did. How can you use cash account to pay for 100 now? You use check now. No, I know, I know. For other transactions. No, it's not for this. It's for... The other one for other transactions. Well, well, well seven thousand. Okay, so let's use UBA. So the means of payment, the means by which you made that payment, you select it at the bank account. The dates, you select the dates. Is a Kunle one was that? Third or so. Eight, March eight. Okay. Then who did we pay to? It's Okoye. Okay, we don't have Okoye yeah, in our sounds. yes, we don't have Okoye on our vendor list, so we have to create a new one. You can do that from here, yeah. or you go to your vendor center and click new. This is a shorter cut, so I can just go here. If I don't see anybody in the list, I go up. I will see new. Once I say new, it will ask me, what do I want to create? Uh, of course, I want to create a vendor. Then I say, okay. It will automatically take me to the vendor center. 
So I'll say Okoye and sons. And Lord. So I'll create this up. Okay, we have Okoya and Sons as a vendor. Then you can come to accounts. Now this is where our ledgers will come handy. What we are paying for is rent. So we go to accounts, we will go through our expense list and see if we have an expense called rent. I think I can see rent here. Rent expenses is here. So I'll select rent. Then I'll come to amount. The amount is 400,000, right? Yes. Then the description has been payment for office rent. This is how to enter expenses on QuickBooks. So this has been done. And, uh, all we need to do is to save, since we have a new, since we have another one, we do save a new. Oh, oh, please, Mr. Kalechi? Yes. Mr. Kalechi? I can hear you. Okay, but please, if the 400 Hundred thousand is a if the hundred thousand is is annual payment is annual okay. rent. Okay. Uh, you know we supposed to recognize for one month. Okay. Is there a way QuickBooks can recognize the uh, one month from four hundred thousand so that so, on uh, every month now the okay. system will now automatically recognize one month. I understand. That that will happen when we come to. Uh -oh. Or we we'll do it manually. Or we say rent payable. Is that fine by you? Yeah, that would be rent. Good. Yeah, rent payable is fine. Then we, when we come to general journals, we'll now rent when we let, yes, when we come to general. So let's go to let's we'll create spend the one month. Yes. Spend one month. So let's look at rent payable. Account payable is not here. We'll create a rent payable account. Other current liability. Create a rent payable. Remember, I said this is where your chart of accounts will come in handy. Okay. I can't type. So, I can't type. Uh, current liabilities. Okay. Other current, yes. So you have a rent payable and you have this. Remember, when you save and you want to look for that thing you save, please, there is a back arrow. Anytime you open any document on QuickBooks, and you want to see what you previous what you did and you can't find it please go just use the back arrow it will take you back and you can now find what you did please take note okay the next transaction is uh, repair and maintenance right 20000 naira by cash so, like I said, the bank here is your means of payment. So, we made that payment through our cash account. Unfortunately, we don't have any money there for now, but we will move money much later. Now, we made, pay, we, we made payments to, for repairs and maintenance. 
But if you realize, no name was mentioned, right? So we pay to staff. Uh -huh. It's possible we pay to staff. Or we pay to one mechanic that uh, we forgot to put his name. Uh, no, staff can receive that money on behalf of the mechanic. Okay. Since that is not a vendor, in your memo here, you can say staff. Then you put the name. Fri uh, uh, Friday. Friday. Then you come here, you look for repair and maintenance. You have something here, repairs and maintenance. Then you put the amount. Then you say being Or repairs. What was the date, please? March 7th. March 10th. Then. Okay. Remember the cash account is here. I think we are, are we doing for food? Okay, we are doing for repairs and maintenance, right? Yes, yes. If it happens on the same day, you can I'm always. If it happens, if you have expenses that happened on the same day, you can always line them up. You mustn't do all of them with, uh, you can line them up and you know, use your memo to do the description. Yes. But if it happened on different days, then you have to create new sheets for them. So click on save and new. Yes, it's March 7th. It's March 7th. Okay, March, okay, repairs is March 7th, right? Yes, and the amount is 200,000, not 20,000. No, for maintenance. So it's 20. 20, 20 please. It's 20,000. It's 20. OK, so we'll do the next one is for, the next one is cash, right? Office, uh, for, for office use, 7,000. So we still gave uh, Frank money for where? Look for the expenses, anything like where? If we don't have where, we can create it. No, oh, we can create it. Uh, expenses, we can say for Then we come here, 7,000 there. For, for office generator. The date is on the 10th. So this is how we this. We can say save and close. So this is actually how to enter expenses uh, using QuickBooks. Let's see the reports. Let's see how our TPNL has spread since then. we we'll go to standard. Okay. Now we have those expenses reflected. We have our net income start. So we are going to round up here for today because I have another class, slide four. Um, tomorrow we are going to meet by 11. I hope that is fine. No. 10. No, I'm working at home 10. tomorrow. I'm working okay, from you're home. working at home. 
Yeah, it is five o'clock. Okay. Um, so when uh, six is fine? Yeah, six is okay. Okay. Let's see if we can do um, six to eight. Okay. All right. Uh, I will send your. I will send a class work to your email. Let me check. Uh, let me check. Let me show you what it looks like so that. Uh, Have you sent the audio, sir? Have you sent the audio? No, that thing is large. That thing is over two hours. <laughs> It's not something that can be sent. It's quite large. The MB of that thing is almost 400 and something thousand. Mm -hmm. We need to go and collect it to our flash. Um, uh, but maybe when this uh, Corona thing goes down. <laughs> Please stay at home for now. <laughs> But please, uh, it will be available. Oh, yeah. It can compress it now. I've been, ha I've been having messages that are more than that number of hours we had. Yeah, but that, uh, okay, no problem. Let's just finish. I'll look at the options. But sending that, even if you compress it, the MB for that thing will be quite will be something. Because I hope this, I'm also recording this and other ones. But uh, no problem. If the only thing is just to get a flash or something. Anywhere, anyhow, we can. I know that we would, we would uh, actually look at that. But uh, in Port what about me that is legal? You might, you might we'll be, maybe if you send a web you now, we can we build a flash, then we'll send it back to you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You can, maybe you can, or we go, or you just pay for a flash. I buy the flash, put it inside, and we build to you in Lagos. That's that's okay. Okay. Yeah, that will be fine. Okay. Let's see this um, question. I will forward this to your emails. We have not learned um, general journal, so you might. Uh, Questions like these are general journal questions, like this one now is a general journal question. But this one uh, are some questions that are there you can try your hands on. Can look at them, try your hands on them, and uh, see how it goes. So I'll send this as an email to. Uh, what about the link? Have you sent the link? Yes, I've sent the link. I sent it today too. Yes. I sent it before I sent the link for the today's training. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. so they are sitting there. For QuickBooks download. Try out. <laughs> so I'll send this, I'll send this immediately. Where yeah, you can try your hands on them. Then if you have Frank Hood, if you have that old Frank Hood test book, there are lots of questions there you can just try to, so that you're, you can face more questions. And if you have questions, and we'll probably when you come for the next class, if you have questions on how to post certain transactions, please uh, you let us know so that we can do it together. Yeah. So thank you very much. and. Uh, Sir, please, the Lagos, uh, this thing, how are you people coping? Well, fine. Wow. There are still movements somehow. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, we're praying for you people. Though. That thing looks like uh, every day we're hearing news. It's becoming more politicized now. <laughs> you feel they are standing to benefit something from all these uh, NGOs. Uh, because imagine, imagine the uh, governor of Cardinal saying, "Get uh, in case." <laughs> 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 they are possible because uh, most of them not pay at all. They travel a lot. Yes, yes. Leave that one. Leave that one. <laughs> they should get Kalusi too. Kalusi should come out and uh, if he say he has, then it means that it's true. Yes. 
But what I'm looking at, uh, at the end of the day, what states will tell you they spent to to put this in in order will, will blow your mind. And it's, a, it's an expense you, you to be difficult for you to verify. All this money that is flying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my brother, let me know. I think it's better show. we quarantine all our leaders this day. Well, <laughs> uh, because of this now, we're supposed to quarantine all our leaders, then we we'll generate new leaders. <laughs> <laughs> so we are supposed to just take That is a coup. Cool. That, that is a coup. Cool. You want to when they are well, then. But if yeah, you ask what, me, eh? It's what it's. It they are playing that script. Because mm. when this is, we are. Serious people are saying close the borders. I know friends who are saying close the borders, and um, you know, we work with the end uh, within the space and uh, okay, and uh, people coming in. Okay, they did close the borders. Are I don't see? have the you know, uh, the medical expertise to handle it. You know what you are doing, you want you know what you want to do. They don't mind them, they were looking for a case, they wanted a case. The Italian case they had, they didn't have the name. The only told us that he's taking our mother, he has been discharged. Actually, make a lot of money. You know? Yes, yeah. they will. But the, but the other, other, but other countries are really, people are dying in, in thousands. Those are the real cases now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we pray that God will uh, see us through. And uh, we do the much we can do so that we don't, we don't uh, I just pray that at the end of it all, no mm. serious matter will, will come out. Yes, yeah, so that's what we pray. That's what we pray. For Potakot, yeah, they have really uh, coming in and going out is very restricted. So. No, the man is serious. Yes, yeah, so. yeah, so. right. not taking chances. No, it should because be. if you that there may be some sabotage, yes, that he arms himself. Yes, very well. very well. Okay, sir, thank you very much. Uh, all right, sir. Have a, do have a nice weekend. Yes, I appreciate I'll, it. Yes, I appreciate it. We That's will, uh, our folk, yes, I'll forward them uh, these questions to you so that you guys can uh, look at it and try your hands so that. If we come uh, probably after our class, we can still look at it together and see how we can go around it. Okay. Right. Have a nice Thank day. Thank you. Thank you.